Today we're going to be looking at why you should be looking at every single penny you have from the year 2009 all the way up until this year 2023. We're going to show you what can make your pennies valuable so let's just hop right into it. Alright so we're starting off with the 2009 Lincoln penny. Alright so first thing we got to get out of the way is a couple different things that you can look for on these pennies that can make them valuable. Now this is on the professional life reverse of the 2009 Lincoln penny. Now there's four different reverse designs in 2009. This is called the professional life reverse design. So you can see the pillars from the capital there. Those are doubled. This is a doubled die reverse. So you want to look for that on all of your 2009 pennies with this reverse design because it can add some extra value to your penny. Now we're going to be looking at some other double dies that you can look for as well before we get into some prices. So on this example here, you'll see the doubling on the thumb. Now we're going to go through these fairly quickly, but if you guys want to stop and pause the screen and look at it a little bit closer, feel free to do so. This next one, again, on the thumb. There's different examples of doubling taking place on the formative years reverse here on Lincoln's thumb or on his hands, on his fingers. You'll see different examples here as we go. You can see this one looks kind of like an extra finger uh, right there in between the thumb and his finger uh, on the back of the book there. So that's another example of a double die reverse. Here's another example of that that looks very similar. So always look for that spot on the hands right there by the thumb. Now this one here would be down by the pinky right underneath the book. You can see that doubled finger there. So that's another one to look for. That one's not as, as noticeable as uh, the thumb there, the one by the thumb. But here's another example of that by the thumb. All right, so we got six so far. Here's seven examples, seven different examples. All right, and then we got this example here. This one is pretty long. It almost goes to the like spine of the book there. And that is eight different examples you can look for on the 2009 formative years Lincoln sent. Now here are some prices. This first one didn't sell for a fortune. It sold for $26 at auction. It's graded by Annex. Of course, it depends on which double die you have. And it also depends on the grade of the coin or the condition of the penny as well, right? So this one graded by Annex at a 66 red, sold for $26. Now, here we go. This is a PCGS graded coin. This is a double die reverse FS804. So they're going to be each individually listed as different double dies. This is a FS804. It's graded at a 66 red once again. The coin ended up selling for $60 at auction. Now this next one is the FS803 formative years Double die reverse 2009 Lincoln penny graded by NGC at a mint state 66 red. This coin here sold for a little over $90 at auction. So it really depends on the condition, which double die you have, and you know, kind of who grades it as well. You know, uh, something graded by NGC is going to sell for more than something graded by Annex. Yeah, take that into consideration as well. But you know, it's a $92 penny. Imagine if you found a whole roll of these. I mean, that would be insane, right? So 92 bucks for that penny there. Now in 2014, we also have a doubled die obverse penny to look for. So you want to look for doubling there on the date. We can see that here in this image displayed. You also want to look for the doubling on the word Liberty as well. So here's an example of one that actually sold on eBay as is ungraded for $40. 40 bucks. Again, imagine if you found like 10 of these, that's $400 uh, and you know, pennies. It's crazy for only, you know, 10 pennies. So it really depends on the condition. Once again, you know, uh, you know, the demand at the time in which you sell it and things like that. Now there are a couple different examples in 2014 as well. So here's another example of that taking place on the date and on the word 
trust. So you want to look for that on the lettering of the coin as well. Uh, but 40 bucks for that one example there. Now in 2015, the very next year, we also have a doubled die obverse to look for as well. So you want to look for doubling on the date 2015 itself. Here's an example of that. And you also want to look for that on the word liberty as well. Now here is an example of a 2015 ungraded sold as is on eBay penny that sold for $20, all because it has that doubled die obverse. So inspect your coins closely because you might make 20 or 40 or 50 or even $100 off of a penny that you come across in your pocket change or even if you search coin rolls from the bank, you never know. So that is what you should look for on those. Now in 2015, we do have some different errors as well. I've kind of showed this in a previous video that I did about the 2015 penny. This is a coin that has been struck onto a defective planchet. Uh, so you'll see that there in the images displayed. It is graded and authenticated by PCGS. This coin sold for $552 at auction. Now in 2015, we also have a split die taking place on this coin here, graded by PCGS at a 63 red. Again, these are the shield scent reverse, uh, you know, the newer reverses. And you can see that going all the way from one edge of the coin to the other, uh, going through Lincoln's chin and ear and the back of his head there. So that is a split die. This coin sold for $192. All right, guys, if you want a coin mat, they are available right now on couchcollectibles.com. We have the nickel mat, penny mat, quarter mat, and half dollar coin mat. A lot of dates updated and added, RPMs, all the way up until 2023 here on the penny mats. Super soft for your coins, nice and rubber, light, easy to, you know, fold up, carry wherever you want, and then bam, you want to go through your coins, you get you a roll of coins, break it out on there, save the ones you want, key dates or any errors that you find or any silver. You can actually get these right now on couchcollectibles.com. Hit the link in the comments below if you guys want to pick up all four. You can get all four for a deal that are a lot cheaper than buying them individually. So feel free to pick one up in the comments below, couchcollectibles.com. Now in 2015, we also have another split die. The last one was going in a different direction of the coin. This one here is a very obvious error as well. And this coin sold for $720. And it's graded at a 65 as opposed to a 63 like the last coin. So you got a higher grade here. Um, similar split die, uh, but not exactly the same, of course. $720, guys, for a 2015 penny. So again, if you ever find anything like that, definitely have it graded because you might get some really good money out of it. Now, in 2016, we have that same case here. We have a split die. Uh, and we also have a rotated die as well. Now this coin is graded by Annex. Something like this, honestly, I would probably just send into, uh, you know, PCGS or NGC, um, you know, because this coin sold for $264. It would probably sell for 300, over 300 in an NGC holder, I would guess. When you pick up a penny, you pick it up from the bottom, and you lift it directly up. It should be straight up and down, just like it was straight up and down when you picked it up on the, on the obverse design. The reverse should be straight up and down. When we flip this coin over from the bottom up, you'll see that it's not, it's sideways, right? That's a rotated die. So it's got two different things going on here with the split uh, die. So pretty cool error, 264 bucks. Now let's fast forward to 2018, 2018 here, we have a doubled ear. So this is very small in comparison to like the 1984 doubled uh, ear on the Lincoln cent, uh, but this is considered a double die obverse. It is the 2018 D mint mark Lincoln penny. So if you guys find any 2018s, you look for the doubled ear because you never know. I haven't really seen too many sold auctions of those. So you really never know what those would go for. Now, now, if we go one year later again in 2019, here's an example of a double die obverse you want to look for on the date of the coin. So 2019. So here's an example of a 2019 penny that sold on eBay for 20 bucks as is ungraded because it has that doubling. So you just never know, guys. You never know what you're going to find out there in the wild from the bank and pocket change. Now, here is actually a 2019 penny that has a nice little die break right there on the chin of Lincoln. I mean, look at that extra metal there, man. That's pretty cool. This coin ended up selling as is ungraded for $45. So that's another error that could take place on just about any type of coin, right? 
Now here is a 2021 Lincoln cent that has a defective plating here on the reverse of the coin. So that is actually a genuine mint error. It is graded and authenticated by NGC as well. And this coin ended up selling for $264. Not too bad for a 2021 penny, but this penny here even sold for more money. So we'll have a retained die break taking place here on the 2021 Lincoln cent. And you can see that they're very obvious. You know, everyone was looking for these when the, you know, people started finding them in 2021. This coin sold for $372. Now this one, is not as expensive, but it is a split die there. It doesn't have the retained die break, uh, but this coin graded by NGC ended up selling for $252. Uh, very nice coin there, graded at a 66 red as well. Now in 2023, I actually made a whole video about this. So if you guys wanna know the prices of the 2023 pennies, just go back into my videos tab here on YouTube or Facebook and you'll find that 2023 video showing you guys what these coins have sold for because some of them have sold for some really good money, hundreds of dollars even into the thousands. But this is what you wanna look for. As we zoom in there at the bottom of Lincoln's shoulder, the VDB initials will be there. That is the designer's initials, Victor's initials there, right? But if you look to the right of the B, you'll see an extra V. So that's an extra V that people have been finding on the 2023 Lincoln cents. Now that is what you wanna look for. And if you find one, you can definitely sell it because people are still selling these on eBay as we speak. So the more people find, of course, the, the value will go down on those, but you know, people are finding, a, it seems like a decent amount of these, um, but when they first came out, when errors or when coins first get released at the first of the year, you know, uh, you know, like say next year, 2024, there's gonna be a new penny, new quarter, new nickel, dime, all that coming out. People rush to the bank and try to get those rolls so they can be the first to find errors on those. And someone found the extra V, everyone started looking for it and people found more of them. But before everyone started finding them and only a few were out there on the market, they were selling for crazy prices. So now now the market's kind of uh, correcting itself as more become found. But that is what you wanna look for on your pennies from 2009 to 2023. There's all kinds of other things that you can look for as well. You know, different types of mint errors that we talk about every single day here on the channel. So feel free to check out the other videos where we're showing you modern coins and older coins that are worth a lot of money. And don't forget to subscribe in the middle. Feel free to check out the videos to the left of me. And until tomorrow, I'll see you guys in the comment section below. This is Couch Collectibles in this is where I disappear.